All right. Y'all tracked okay, okay, okay. finally tracked her down. You're she you finally meet up with Scarlet Witch at the warehouse. Y'all are inside. What do you do? It's, it's my it's my role. It's my role. My role. My turn. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna use my elemental wind powers. And I'm going to flank her. I'm gonna fly around her. I'm gonna get right behind her. I'm gonna flank her. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. I successfully flanked Scarlet Witch. Ray, what are you doing? All right. I'm going, All to, right. I'm going to use the power of the hammer and do directly attack her in the face, full fledged, 100 yeah. percent go. Oh, the hammer! Oh, we got this. Hammer. We got this. Head hammered in his face, back. No, no, no. It's no, down. No. Okay, okay. It's, it's okay. We can, we can come back from this. Okay. Um, really? Really? Um, we, no, it's okay. We can come back from this. All right. Okay. Um, it's my role, right? All right. So uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to constrict her with her, her muscles, her whole body with my wind magic. I'm just going to pull. Just, just come on. Just get it. Let's get it. I can. Come on. We can come back from this. I got it. We got this. Got oh, this. and with, while he is. Using his wind powers to constrict her like she no, 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 mumbles no, 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 no. her favorite no, 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 no. Say no, no, no more no. mutants. No, no, no. And the, the world in the magic, we are in D.C. What is, I, no, no, I don't, no, I don't no, have, no, no, I, I don't have, I don't have stuff for that. You I are set back to zero, my, your characters. My I, points. That roll was wrong. I I rolled. I, it was a six. This, this is it why had to, we, could, that, we could have played Yu-Gi-Oh. Could have played Pokemon. Will our heroes be no. able to overcome this and get back to Marvel? No. Put all of this on here. Find out next. I mean, Bull crap. It's crap. <laughs> and with that, let's get nerdy. <laughs> Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So Maybe we should have played Yu Gi Oh! It gets real when we, when we, we play D D. It gets real around here. It gets real. Exactly. It's real. It gets real. I'm upset about the role. How do I get one role and I get like hey. in the face with my own, with my own weapon? Hey, it's like, it's got, all right, man. Look, out, bro. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm, I was all I'm excited. Like, it's like, yeah, he's blanking her. I'm about to like run I'm gonna just like hit her in the face. Uh, I told like, you you should have got more people. power up. You should have got yeah. more power ups. You could have had more dice. Yeah. But it's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. We're on episode 16. 16. Wait. Android 16. Yeah. Ah, there it is there. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. So like that. Welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have. I don't really think there's too much to talk about this on this episode. We might, we might see. Um, let's see if Mingo D got a good roll on this. Let's see. Take it away. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna do that. All right, guys. So, like my shirt. Yeah. Retro baby. Retro. So, just as I promised you guys last week, we're going to get straight into it. We're going to talk about the state of streaming. Yep, state of streaming. You guys know it's July. And and the funny thing about July is that usually in the summer, you find all the cable shows, regular TV shows, TV channels, or whatnot, cable providers, they don't really do much. But streaming is totally ball, a totally different ball game. I mean, I don't know what's a ball game. What's that? It's a, what, I've never heard that phrase. Whatever. It's a Pokemon game. There you go. All right. So anyway, yeah. um, ha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it. That feels Did better you. now. My brain, my brain feels better. So we got Amazon Prime, Netflix, HBO Max, Disney. They have new shows. It's a lot of shows. I'm only gonna talk about a few that I like. That I, the previews I saw, some of the footage I saw that I think are great and that you need to watch. So let's jump right into it. One of the one of the big ones is the boys. 
on yeah. Amazon Prime. The Boys, man, that show was so good last season. If you ain't watched the first season, please go mm. watch it. It is like a parody, kind of, of like the DC and Marvel superheroes, but it's so good. It's gory and it's funny, and it has the and the the storylines is really good. It's based off of a comic, but the, the the what they did in live action is really good. Amazon Prime has got a gem there. The second season is I think it's out. I think today. If not today, it's probably next week. But it's 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 gonna be good. It's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, guy, wait, gonna be good. I'm gonna wait on season two to come out. Yeah. Yeah. It's only like eight episodes though. Yeah. It was, uh, you know that's kind of the streaming service thing. Whenever they have exclusive yeah. things like that, you usually get about eight to ten eight to ten shows at a time. Like yeah. episodes. Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. Another Amazon Prime good one is a show called Hannah. I don't know if anyone's paid attention to it. Hannah was actually a movie first. It was, a, I guess, a series of books. But it was a movie. It's about a, a, a German girl. She's blonde hair. And she becomes pretty much an, an extreme soldier. Like, she like, what, 12, 13? And she just starts beating everybody's butt, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, going hard, just, like, all this other stuff. But, um, but, but the thing is, the movie was okay. So what they did after that, they made a, um, they made a TV show. And the TV show was 10 times better. And I, and that's what Amazon Prime has. So the second season is out. It's going to be good. If you, it's a, it's a, it's a gem that a lot of people don't know about, but you should catch it. You should watch it. It's really good. And now we're going to jump into some HBO Max. And I know Hammer's going to love this one, but some Doom Patrol. My boy Cyborg yeah, on that yeah, bad yeah, boy. Yeah. So, yes. See, yes. That's where, that, that makes sense. That's his, that's his, that's his realm. Doom Patrol. Yes. It's yeah, good Patrol. Right? I haven't watched Doom Patrol yet. Uh, I tried to watch so Teen funny. Titans. Tried to, Teen I Titans. tried to get do the Teen the Titans, uh, but I can't get it to watch it. I had to freaking pay for it to before I could oh, watch yeah. it. Like, yeah. uh, like per episode, like dollars. And I'm like, I'm trying to find it to where I can watch it. Like, so. Yeah. Um. It's so with Doom Patrol, it's. It's it's they're they're taking it just like they did with the with the comics and if anybody's following it's supposed to be the more uh not not necessarily the dark, like real dark, gritty, like with a lot of some of the DC probably probably more, you know, hype, upbeat and it's funny, but they still have some darker tones in it, but it's still supposed to be like they're it's the Doom Patrol is supposed to be ragtail tale of he, of heroes to so like, what are we gonna do? We gonna do? How we gonna do this? Oh, 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 oh! But it's supposed to be fun. So that's uh, it's but it's the second season's coming out. I think uh, in a week or so, if not now, and it's gonna be good. If you're if I'm wrong, put in the comics. Uh, let me know. And then we also have uh, now we're gonna move to Netflix, and we have no actually, uh, yeah, Netflix. We have a new show that I'm really excited about. It's called Warrior Nine. Yeah. It's brand new. It's exciting. I, I love what I saw. It's pretty much about it's it's about a lot of supernatural stuff mixed in with, you know, religious stuff. If you've seen anything, any of those move Catholic movies with like the exorcism and stuff like that, but or or with, with witches and powers and all the stuff like that and all this like crazy uh stuff going on when they fight demons, but it's women it's 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 dope. Go look it up. It's already out. I'm about to as soon as I get leave here, I'm gonna go watch it. It's dope. And and then it's a bunch of other stuff, man. I'm telling you, the state of streaming is good. Um, right now, my take, I think Netflix is in is still the king, queen, or whatever, because they still have the most shows. I think Amazon Prime is not too far behind. I think HBO Max has a lot to give, and I think they're going to pretty much take over the scenery, and they're going to change some stuff. But I, I'm excited. I think we all should watch it. We should just cut the show off right now. Just cut the show off. Let's go. No, no, cut the show off. We'll keep the show going. We're going to watch it. But um, And I have some advice for people screaming, I would say what you need to do is this. Um, you can either binge everything in one go. If you don't want to binge everything in one go, I would say then take a, then I would say take, just watch one show a week. One, I mean, one episode a week. And I know it's going to be like, but all the episodes right here, I'm going to watch right now. If you're not used to that or you feel like, oh man, this is, uh, I'm not going to have nothing to watch tomorrow. 
or next week, then don't. Just take your time. You got time. You can watch the episode for a week. Or it can just be like Tyler, well, my boy Snake here, and just watch everything right now. Yeah, the thing is, you know, <laughs> I, I, I noticed when I got to the point where, and I know right. I just cut my video for a second. I needed to just for a second. But uh, I, the thing I noticed just was that, that he has nerd when hair. I have, uh, hey, man, it can't be. <laughs> it's certain things. You, know, you got to hold on. But no, I noticed that whenever I had multiple shows I wanted to watch, what I would do is take a cable television. I'd take kind of a, a, a page out of cable television. Like I would watch one episode of this, one episode of this, one episode of this, one episode of this, like in order. Or like I'd pick one and watch just the one and then I would, that would be my TV for the night after work. And I, you know, go to bed, don't shower, go to bed, go to work, come back the next day, watch an episode, you know, watch another episode of each one. Kind of like a, like, you know, like if you're watching yeah. cable TV, you get like a 30 minute episode every day or every scheduled day, whatever it is. And I would watch shows like that. Or like you were saying, let's pick one show that, that I, if, yeah. if there's a series that I'm really watching, I pick that one show and watch it like on Tuesdays, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah. You know, I might watch a movie afterwards or I might watch a movie before, but for sure I'm gonna make this 30 minutes for this one episode of this. And yes. then I would watch it. And then I wouldn't watch another episode until the next Tuesday because I want it to be like that. My, that's my thing. So I get what you're saying. That is a good idea. That's good. That's a good way to do that. Yeah, we, that we, so, so we, uh, uh, if you haven't, if you haven't watched Stranger Things, I do suggest oh, go watch yes. Stranger Things because no one's coming soon. We finished up, uh, we caught up, uh, because we didn't watch it originally, but we were like, ah, we, there's a lot of, shows that we haven't watched yet so like we started stranger things we binge watched it and we got that we caught up to where it is now we just finished it just a while ago um so and then we looked up season four there's they did uh they're going to re start reshooting uh uh get official in september for season four um it got delayed because of all the covid stuff so yeah but they did uh, acknowledge that they will be starting back uh, shooting yep. in September. Um, Stranger Things, yeah, it's definitely watch that. Uh, what was that other one we watched? Trying to, we watched a lot. <laughs> uh, there's a lot to there's a lot to watch. There's the one that was on net, uh, Amazon that you watched. The uh, was it? It was a. Uh, the one about the the heroes, they um, I, I know it's like that's a lot of them heroes. The, yeah. the the they they were kids and they they beat up the bad guys and they got older. They lost. That's the scene that you said made you mad. I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> uh, you said the name, I was able to click, but I mean either way. I mean there's there's so much like. Check out YouTube. Check out all of them. I mean, all the streaming services, they all have really, really good stuff going on, especially, I mean, because of all the COVID, like, they're ramping out stuff. Yeah, so, it makes you wonder, is cable even relevant anymore? It's really not. I mean, you really think about it. I'm supposed to really answer it. I want them to answer it. <laughs> well, okay. just, not to me. Okay. <laughs> my opinion. My personal opinion. Is not. What else you, you got? Answer in the comments. Well, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have. Anything else, I'm going to go more in detail with as far as these shows. I'm going to probably go more in detail once I watch more of them and get and get into it. That way I can like, yo, the dude, I can't tell you did the thing or whatever. But um, And then FYI, I didn't say the Snyder Cut. I know everybody like, hey, you going to talk about DC and Snyder? That's, yeah, that's coming on HBO Max, Max but that's not here yet. 2021. I tried to stay away from some of the stuff that's going to be future, like the Disney Plus, Mandalorian, and um, and all that type of stuff like that, because that's still later on, and I want to touch that, like, towards the fall, when they're coming out. That way, you won't be sitting up like this. I just, I just need the Mandalorian right now, and I'm like, well, you need to wait. Just wait. She's calling me. She's calling me. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> what do you got? Umbrella Academy. That's what it was. That's yeah, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. The Umbrella Academy. Yep, yep. That's that what that was dope. Uh, season two is soon. Yeah, I think it's waiting for the season next season. 
That's what I do. I watch it until I, I'm sitting there waiting for the next. And since week. you said that, I can actually talk about that preview. They actually had a preview in the season two. If I'm not gonna, I, this is not really a spoiler because on a, it's on the trailer. But season two has this guy's daughter who looks old, but she's not old and she has powers. So yeah, it's and, and apparently she's gonna be the new threat. Per se, you can, watch the trailer. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to try to really spoil anything else if you haven't seen the first season. Go watch the first the trailer. Season. Speaking of, they they had a trailer for uh, uh, Stranger Things four. Oh, uh, I have not seen that one. Yeah, shows. I, well, I've seen the teaser where they showed the, the sign and then it said four, but I haven't seen anything else. No, this one, is a, else this one's like a little teaser where they're like showing Russia and snow oh. and like uh, all these people like working on a train. Uh, like a train track and it's like zooming in and then it gets to a person and he stands up and he takes his hat off and he's like wiping his brow and stuff he's bald shaved shaved head and when he turns to the side you see his face and you anybody has seen the uh, I always wanted to the return it's a returning character that and then oh you see wow. the season three if you've watched all the way up to season three, when you see this trailer and you see who it is, you're like, what? WTF? Like, how? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, uh, how? <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let people go watch it. So Yeah, and that's uh, something else I want to talk about, Stranger Things. Um, Snake, me and Snake were talking earlier, and he said the one of the things that, or was yesterday, one of the things that he said that he loves about Stranger Things is that, and this it's, 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 uh, is true for a lot of, movies and shows that have been coming out over the last, I'm going to say, I'm going to say five years, but is the fact that they're able to take something, whether it's in the past, create something in the future or, and just make it so like it's lived in that this is realistic. This is happening right now. And the fact that stranger things, you can see that it's, it's supposed to be like in the, it's supposed to be like in the, um, like was it eighties? So the fact they make it, seem like it's brand new right now as we speak in the 80s when we know that's not true that's so amazing and it's just the the cinematography and how they put all the little pieces together is just really it's so like we're sitting there watching it and we're just seeing all the basically all the nostalgia and like like seeing everything like that we used to like have back in the day like i mean it was 80 80 uh 84 uh, was the last season it was uh but everything i mean we we were born in 86 uh 87 so uh you know i, I claim 86 even though i'm at the, you know i was at the end of 86 i was still born 86 so 86 but <laughs> um hey bro so 1201 you 86 i i don't know what time time but it was December 31st, 1986, when I was born. So I'm 86, baby. Anyway, um, the just the stuff that they have, like we had that growing up, all that, like everything. Like it's just the, the, the small details, man. It's crazy. Anyway, enough of that. Ray Hamill, where is your video? Why are you hiding from us? I am having a lighting issue. Um, I can still talk, but I'm I'm having a lighting issue. So it, I mean, I mean it, it's to the point where when I'm dark, I can't be in the dark like this. This is like bad. If, if it was just a little dark, I'd be like, wait, yeah, yeah, it, it's <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, anyway, while you get your stuff straightened out, um, I, I didn't have much as far as anime and uh everything i sword art online alizization season two uh the, the second part of it is coming back finally uh it's gonna be next saturday so can't wait for that uh uh and i did actually heard more about uh uh dr stone that uh, will be, be uh, season two premiering in January. So we'll still have a lot more to talk about before then. So I'll bring it back up closer to the date. 
uh is same way with a lot of other a lot of the anime like there's i'm just waiting for them to come out like this freaking covid screwed up everything I and mean, there's a lot of other shows actually coming out and i'm still trying to catch up on a lot of animes that i want to watch like i do want to watch food wars like which in july there's another food wars uh season coming out uh so I still want to catch up on that. I mean, there's a lot. Uh, I mean, Food Wars. Uh, I caught up on Barto as far as much as they can. Uh, they let me. I'm waiting. Uh, they don't have like the season two or anything going yet. So I'm just waiting on all these. Like I, I, I hate that I watch it. Like I watch it in the English version, the English dub, and then I can't stand not watching it more because i want to know what's going on so i i switch over and start watching it uh in english dub like to where i can uh subtitle i mean the way i can actually just keep watching i mean i have to read subtitles but then i get to the end of that one and i'm like waiting and i then i start looking up the manga (laughs) and it's just an end cycle (laughs) like what's next you have to have have, you know control man you know Patience. I gotta you know. know. See, this is what I was talking about. People are talking about the streaming thing. You know, Snake is like, <laughs> some people are like, I need to know. I need to know. Um. Yeah, uh, that's really all I have. I mean, I know. Uh, yeah. Hammer, what you got? All right, so, so we got some news that just uh, I just kind of read about today, actually. Um, let's see if I got this. See how this lighting is. I'm gonna try to come back on. I don't know how it's gonna be if it starts acting crazy again. I'm gonna shut it off. Let's see, ah, hey, it's not that bad. Okay, so Microsoft just recently. Um, actually, in the last few days, just reapplied for the rights on Twitter and um, basically copyrights and patent and everything for Fable. And they kind of let it go for a while, and it was kind of, you know, everybody knows what Fable is, but uh, they just recently reapplied for all the patents and everything for Fable. So, you know, the question is now, is not confirmed, but they're like, you know, Fable 4, maybe, mm-hmm. possibly. Mm, we don't know, just maybe. But it is a possibility that Fable is going to happen. Not in Microsoft, just kind of put it in the atmosphere, you know. It's like they try not to talk about it, but it's like, you know, who's not going to notice that you went back and applied for all the rights to the game? Right. Yeah. You're going to, you're, you're obviously planning on releasing a game at some point. I kind of wish that they would go back, like, because the way that they, the Fable has been progressing, like, I, like the last one, the time era that they had, like didn't really like it. Like yeah, it, it was a little weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like, but if they, like, imagine if they went back, like, you know, like from what Fable One, you know, was yeah, yeah, yeah. before that. Yeah, like, kind of like a prequel. Yeah, like a prequel as far as and then like because you know when you when you come into the story. It show, it tells that there was before you there was others so right tell that story like I don't know like kind of tell the story of the others I agree yeah but anyway keep going sorry the other game did kind of fell out of place my brother plays it real heavy I wish I could have had him on the show um because he could tell you because he he likes Fable he you know matter of fact he he was doing some let's play of it um I think you oh, wow. mentioned Snake that you kind of saw a little bit of him playing it. Um, but he, he plays the heck out of Fable, and, and he kind of said the same thing you did. At that that last Fable kind of felt like out of place. Like yeah. it, was, it was just kind of off. It was weird. Um, but, you know, hopefully that's, that's, that's what's going to happen with that. We're going to get – there's nothing confirmed. Let me say that. There's nothing that says they're going to do Fable 4, but they are gearing up to do it. And, and if you, you know, if you know major companies, especially like Microsoft, you know, EA, any of those that do that, if they're going to – do a game. If they're going to go for rights to things like that, they're fixing to do something. 
something is fixing to happen. They're not going to just get it and then sit on it. That just, I mean, doesn't happen. You know, I understand COVID, you know, that may take them a little longer, but they're going to do something. So we'll keep our eyes open. I'll let you know. I'll make sure I post on Facebook anything I find out um, just right. to keep everybody in the loop. Um, other news that I read about. So Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village. Check this. Kotaku. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and shout them out because this is where I got it from. Kotaku recently, okay. within the last few hours, put out an article that informed everybody that Resident Evil Village is not, in fact, Resident Evil 8. What? It, it is not. What? They are saying to Capcom that it is I not out. 8. Yeah. No way. No, 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 no. I this can't it. be right. This right. can't be right because the right. developers got trailer. online. The, the trailer. Exactly. The trailer. Yes. That's what and I did. The, the, the I was developers, like, they had the little 8 on there and they said yes. that's what it was. So, so the deal is they're saying it is not actually Resident Evil 8. It is going to, it's village, and it is technically the continuation and conclusion of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. They also, in saying that, confirmed that there is going to be a Resident Evil 8. Leon Kennedy is going to be the main. Yeah, village. Protagonist. Village is 8. Village is not 8. It is 8. It is not. It, it is a. It is unfortunately not. Hey, I don't well, they, care what they, you they say. Did that I don't. Is I don't it going to be third person or something? I don't, I don't care what you person. say. They like in order, if you count them, that's eight. Uh, it's fair. Yeah, that's it, fair. I can get on board with what you're saying there. That's fair. It's, like I don't but, care what they say. It's going to be eight. Okay. Yeah, everybody's going to call it eight. Like it's a village. Village is the continuation. Just like Final Fantasy. Just like Final Fantasy when they went from seven. And they had the eight, and then that eight, uh, uh, was nine. It was a nine. nine. It was a nine point. Or no, nine eight and a half. half. It was eight remember half. eight, and then eight and a half. Yeah. Not, like uh, nobody counts that one. Uh, <laughs> You're right. Well, this will be that one, but apparently but, this is the this is the the ending, like the conclusion to seven biohazard. Yeah, which is why going to do an actual eight in 2021. That'll be nine. And it's going to be, I know, it's going to be, Leon oh, Kennedy's going to be the protagonist, the main protagonist. Of nine. It's set up because of re how Resident Evil 3 is in the world now, that it's going to be set up so you can, we can have Leon as the protagonist. And, which so I like Leon, why? just to be fair. I, I like yeah, Leon. I, love, I like you know, Leon too. It, it really I mean, my favorite is clear, but. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that they announced that there's going to be. Chris. I like Chris and Redfield too, so. I I, but Leon's pretty dope. But yeah, I like I like that they they that's cool that they announced that there's gonna be already that they're gonna have uh Resident Evil Nine in two thousand one. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> he, he's never gonna let this die. But, but yeah, it was it's just pretty like it's so like what, just what like when they when they have the floors like in the elevators and they 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 leave off the level thirteen because yeah. you, know, so yeah. you still have thirteen yeah. floors when you count it. Like, but why did they case. decide this? What was the reason? You know, there was no real detail into into why. They just said that, you know, Probably find out they, 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 they did realize that people assumed because of the way that trailer went and the way they highlighted they it. Highlighted it. The yeah, eight. They they knew people assumed, but they were like, No, it's not eight, it's village and it's the continuation and conclusion of Biohazard Seven. And we're going to have an eight in 2021 with Leon as the protagonist. That's really all they would say. They didn't go into too much detail. Then, then I'm okay. I'm okay with that because what that's saying to me, and I know I'm a, this. I'm getting into some Resident Evil lore. I'm not trying to get too much. That just means that they're probably going to set up for Chris. I know you love Chris. He's probably going to end up being a bad guy soon in future installments because in this, yeah. in this village world of seven seven plus whatever you want to call it or whatever eight whatever i don't, I don't know what this is my heart and brain but in this storyline they're making it seem like chris is bad per se so uh, who I knows how it ends vibe. we gotta wait for the game to come out we get that vibe from old chris like i still like the fact that we, like there was aged chris like i, I don't know why but it yeah. just it was like, hey, that, you actually can't you know, take it. He was still got a jack, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like his, his jacket was on, oh, but you could tell he's going to like pack on a few, you know, age pounds and they yeah, anyway. same Chris, like all swole up and everything. So it was, it's kind of dope. But yeah, that that's totally a thing. Um, it kind of 
like I said, caught me off guard too. I was like, what? Like, why even go through that whole thing of doing? I think that's on purpose. I think they did that on purpose because they knew people were gonna. They knew we were gonna be like, oh snap, resume away. That's a, yeah. I, 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 I said we. I said on this show. I said that's a clever way of them getting the number eight in there using the letters yeah. B and yeah. I was like, ah, that's 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 clever. That's smart. Nope, not the case. Yeah. So just be prepared for village and then be more prepared for actual Resident Evil 9, according to Tyler, in 2021 with Leon. Um, there was also, and I didn't get to see as much of this, I think Mingo could probably help me a little bit. Okay. There's also possibly a Halo spoiler. The, the little bit I've seen is they claim it's not a spoiler, but apparently there was some yeah. things that were done that... Uh, kind of may have spoiled Halo. So it's a toy company. I can't remember. But um, I can't remember the name of the toy company. But just like usual, and I'm not sure if these things are planned or on purpose, but these toy companies, um, they will, when they put out their, when they put out their toys or their, or this is what you may buy in the store, they usually will leak something that probably in the show, in the game, in the movie, and this is kind of what happened with Halo. They, the footage and the pictures, when I, I didn't get to see all the pictures, I think you can still probably find them on uh, IGN. So, um, yep, yep. so, uh, but if there's still, the pictures still up, because apparently you took them down, but somebody figured, somebody figured out, and they was like, um, I think this is for me to get. They kind of said it in Microsoft fight because they realized yeah, these people put them out and, and that type of stuff happens for people do marketing. Like, yeah, if you if you went if you know GameStop, GameStop and Best Buy would do it all the time. Toys R Us back in the day, they will all do yep. it. They will. It's because how they're putting their toys or their games out, their marketing material out compared to when the game or the movie comes out is different, or how they're how they're paid and how they're different, so they don't talk. So it's like, right. oh, we got the marketing for this toy, and then the person like, oh, this toy or this or this uh, picture is cool. That's a movie or a game. And they don't think to say, hey, is this something that makes school or something you don't even know? They just go, oh, okay, cool, we got everything done. We can get everything out in this quarter at this time. So put everything out, and then the other people are like, uh, you see the thing? And they're like, ah, oh. and they have to go and tell them and then take it down or whatever. That's why you can probably go. And like when Star Wars is coming out, you can go to Walmart and be like, and then yep. you go to the movie. It's like, I knew it. I knew Palpatine <laughs> was in that movie because I got the toy, right? So, yeah, it's yep. that type of stuff happens all the time. So, I don't know what the footage yeah. was. They took it down pretty quickly, it, but it's something that spoiled the game. Okay. It's basically um, some toys that, uh, you know what, just. Y'all could just look for yourself. Ah. So, <laughs> so yep. this is what they're talking about is this helmet right here that's on the brute. Basically, they're, uh, if you read right here, basically they're th thinking that the helmet might uh, belong to Locke. Belong to Locke. From yeah. the, just letting you guys know, club. we don't own this footage. This um, from on the internet, this is free. Uh, we don't have to own it. It's free. Not like it's in the world. It's fair play, fair it game. Is, it's in the world. But I get what I get what Mingo saying. It, it, but I, it is in the world. You can find it on the website anywhere. You can Google it and find that. Yep. But that is interesting. Is Lock's helmet is uh, that does look like Lock's helmet. I that see. Wow. And now that everybody's like, so that's why Microsoft huge. took it down that, so quickly. But yeah, they, yeah. That but at the same time, do you see? Uh, do you see how the toys were made? Like, it it looked kind of yeah, funny anyway. Yeah, so. yeah but it's the same type of stuff happens with Lego. Lego will make a weird toy, but if it looks like something that could be on yeah. a game or something like that, they'll make yeah, out. I, I kind of feel yeah. like they're they're reaching a little bit though. <laughs> <laughs> Halo reach. Or 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 ha, Halo reach. Or it could be a um, what's the thing when they do it on purpose? What do you call it? Publicity stuff. They could be doing it on purpose. They could be saying they could say, "Hey, put that up," and they put it up. They're like, "Oh, we gotta take it down." They take it down, so everybody's gonna talk about it and get hyped. 
even more hyped to see it's Rocky true. Yeah, true. it could just be like a DLC like three years it, later it, or something but no. they can just know how to promote these games you know like we know how to promote these games i saw i mean you can already buy uh cyberpunk controllers for like the current gen xboxes which i know the controllers are basically gonna they're gonna probably work in the next xbox because everybody yeah. everybody's 100 percent okay with the controller we have right now you know want it to change and they've said numerous times do not jack with the controller so Xbox has been kind of, you know, Microsoft has been taking advantage of the fact that, hey. Do not jack with the controller. Yeah, and we only send you one control, but guess what? I'll, yeah, like it, and, and it is kind of nice because I've got, I've got about six controls myself. I'm going to lie because I have kids. So if they all work on the next one, that's even better for me. That means every time I throw one or, or rage quit and smash one or the one wears out, I have another one. It's cool. But, uh, the interesting thing about the cyberpunk thing is it's not even going to be out until next year and you can buy the control now. I got, it was sitting on the shelf. It's like a $79 control, but it's there. And I'm like, this game is not even out. <laughs> You're already like, there's a controller with cyberpunk. There's an entire Xbox. You can get an Xbox one X with cyberpunk on it. Custom oh. game is not out, but you can buy it. <laughs> what else? Kind of, kind of a weird thing. I don't know. Yeah, right. Everybody about that money. Get ahead of the game. Make that money. Of everything. Um, yeah, it's that, that's solid. It's a ploy, and I, and I get it. They know how to market. It makes sense. I, I'm not mad at it at all. It's a pretty slick looking control too. At that, I was like, man, if I just wanted to blow some money, I'd probably buy it. Yeah. You know. And then speaking of Halo, I, that, like, that did kind of get me excited. I kind of want to know if it's in there or not. See, if it so, exactly. I want to know if that's locked. My one Microsoft. Because Locke was kind of a badass in, in the last Halo. I know Tyler didn't play it, but I played some of it, and, and Locke was kind of a badass. So it would be interesting. So I wanted to. But, uh, as far as gaming, that's, that's about it. Um, as far as the game is with. So, um, I Go ahead, I'm sorry. To, uh, I didn't get to, I forgot to talk about it a while ago. It's not anime, as, but uh, um, it's to deal with Star Wars. Uh, basically what's going to happen which a lot of, like a lot of Star Wars fans oh, this. might actually like what's in the works of what's going which it's not set in stone yet but it's a rumor that has some pretty good uh, leak uh, and sources as far as like who's saying it so but what's what they're trying to do like right now that there's a kind of a type of uh war kind of going on um between uh the last three episodes that came out of star wars and um you know the woman that made that did that the director whoever is like kimberly something uh well anyway and her and uh, his name. Damn it. Uh, he's the director that uh, does the uh, Mandalorian, and uh, I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. He plays Happy in uh, Iron Man. Oh, you're talking about uh, yeah, I know you're talking about, and I yeah. can't think of his name at the moment either. Time out. Yeah, he's the director. I mean, the producer. Yeah. I did not know that was him. Yeah. Hey, man. Dude, that was on. He was on just the. History because I followed the dude for a while. He was on Oz, he was yep. on Law and Order, he yep. played in a bunch of other movies. Yeah, he's and like he's yeah. happy. Yeah, I know that was him that directed the show. Oh, he's for, directed, like, yeah. you go look and see what he what all he's directed, and you'll be your mind will be blown too. Yeah, anyway, yeah. uh, so basically, what he's Don trying Favreau, to do, what he's trying to do, and I kind of hope that they do this. What he's trying to do is make the last three Star Wars uh, episodes that came out non non canon. That way he can make a whole new three three episode trilogy that's actually linked to the Star Wars. So what uh, when I read into it, 
the way they're, they're talking about uh, is trying to use, it's kind of like a multiverse uh, for okay. multiverse theory, pretty much for Star Wars. So the last, three, the last three episodes would actually go into, they, there's this thing called the Veil of, uh, of the Force. It's uh, Palpatine actually used it. It was like mirrors, uh, like a mirror verse is pretty much type shit that uh of the force to where he was able to manipulate and like manipulate the council from keeping uh, his identity and all this stuff so, so what they're trying to do is like those are mirrors or windows into those other uh the uh multiverses so the last three would basically be non-canon but it would still be relevant in its own universe it'd be its own it will be out of the way. The movies have already been made, so, you know, but they they won't be canon. So now that opens up to where he can come in and make a new trilogy that actually goes the right way. Like, um, Leia won't be, you know, like, acting like uh, Mary Poppins flying through the space. Um, uh, yeah, so, I have a problem with that. Solo won't die, you know, by running, you know. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that won't happen. Yeah, uh, I, the only problem I have with that, and um, I mean, CGI technology is getting better, so it might be okay. But the problem I have with that is technically what problems you have with any other type of rebooting series, uh, series or whatever, or movie or whatnot is – Technically, the actor and actresses and whatnot, because will the person who played Ray, will she come back? Will fans want her replaced if she doesn't want to come back? What about See, Finn? That's the, and then, See, that's the thing. Like, those characters are in that that universe, but it's yeah, but like, like all the other universes. Carrie, they have Carrie Fisher characters. is dead, huh? but she's gone. Yes, Carrie, yes but, true. but at the same time, they could, just like they did at the end of Rogue One, they used her as when she was younger as a CGI. You couldn't even really um, tell yeah. Like, yeah, but it was a lot of people. It, there were like divisions on that. There were yeah, people like, oh, we love it. People but, like, uh, CGI, hate. So, but there's always stories. Like, they don't have to actually have her in the movie. They, they could mention her yeah. or say that she's off uh on another thing like they can use like clips of her from these other uh the movie that they've done already you know yeah, like and then there's the whole loop thing i mean how does mark yeah, hamill feel about it is he happy you know mark he, hamill, he's mark hamill i'm he's pretty sure he'll, if they tell him to come back and he's gonna actually play luke in a good way the he didn't yeah, he did kind of yeah he did he didn't like the last what was the last yeah. Jedi? it was one of them he didn't like too well yeah, so if he can come back, like, and, and also he's going to get paid, so I don't think they'll have an issue with that. But I don't know. I don't know how the contracts and all that stuff work. But at the same time, I kind of like I kind of like this because these last three didn't, you know, these are all a new story. Like, this was Disney making a new story. This Kimberly woman, like, just come in and making this whole new thing. They like, didn't stick to what was already done and what was already the stories that yeah. were already laid out for you. Well, see the the what what happened with that? Cause I remember the history. I remember I talked to Cole. Yeah, I remember Cole, right? That guy. So, 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 big Star Wars guy. I talked to him and I did some research as well. The what happened is that Disney, of course, Disney and George Lucas were on like two different levels, and they wanted to make. I think Disney had a timeline, that timeline, somewhere around there, and their timelines were off as far as like when they can make Star Wars and start making some money off of it, this and that. And so somebody else came in and said, "Oh, I can make some Star Wars before the everything got settled to how they if they was going to continue, you know, with you know with the whole EU, the the EU thing and the canon before they all finished and figured that out." Somebody else came in and was like, well, I can make this and give you the money right now. So George is it, letting you know, or whoever. So Disney, because they're money hungry, I mean, I love it. Yeah. They were like, yeah, let's do it. And then they started it. And then at first, 
they was like, okay, J.J. Abrams help. We're going to have a whole new thing. But then the canon stuff came through, and they were like, whoa, everything is working out in our favor. We actually get the entire canon. We're fixing it, and everything's working. Oh, snap. Now but we got this other new thing. How do we do that? Uh, but let's try to integrate it somehow. And they tried, and it failed. So I can see now where – because the canon stuff is – is it's flowing so well now with the books and the cartoons and the old uh, movies to now it's like those three movies that they tried to do I can see where it's like yeah we yeah. might necessarily reboot and did we want to do it I mean yeah. if anybody so like, do it with the yeah. money now like I said I mean that's basically it. it really is just it's not set in stone and they're they're kind of it's just rumors right now that that's yeah. what's going on and I kind of hope that it it does do that because. And we'll have three, yeah, movies, three new movies that actually go and we might be able to see the way it was supposed to be, like do it justice. Like these last three, they're, all, they're okay movies. It's just, hmm, as far as the Star Wars story, it I didn't okay. like how they did it. But, I mean, as far as the movie itself, they're decent movies. It's just that storyline I don't really like. But, but anyway, um, that's... Oh, cool. I don't like that black ass helmet they put on the, the new <laughs> Sith Lord. A lot of people oh, yeah. have ripped things I hate that fucking helmet. It's the worst but, design ever. Like I said, we'll just, just keep an eye on that. I mean, hopefully that'll go Hopefully that'll go through. I mean, Kimberly's going to fight it because if it does go through, then everything she worked on is just going to go in the trash, which that's fine. I mean, it's and if still, you guys movies ever still trash. Trash. I mean, it's it's there. It's just yeah. The, the movies canon. are still out there. She still doesn't get paid for anybody to buy yeah, it. It's just, stuff, it's just so. not canon. I mean, yeah, I it's just not canon. That's not all. Canon. So it ain't about you. It's exactly. about the fans. Exactly. That's that's what all these directors and stuff like. It's not about you and your vision. We don't care about your vision. We want to oh, no, see. No, no, us. we're not doing like, this. We're it's not our doing vision. this. We're it's not doing this. Fan. Yeah. No. Fans, that's what it makes. You know what I want? You know what I want, guys? I would like a you know how like they got Mortal Kombat and stuff. What if they had like a Star Wars fighting game? Like everybody from all from the canon, non canon, and you get to and you like choose your character, Luke, choose your character, uh, uh, I don't know, Ray, round yeah. one, and you see him like. That would I, I'd actually that would actually be a pretty Mace fun. Windu, bro. Mace Windu would be my character. That Just, would actually be like, pretty fun, like Jedi Sith battle. Uh, sword who would fight. do it though? Would it be like a, a Marvel versus Capcom? Would it be a Mortal Kombat? Would it be a Street Fighter? Like, Netherrealms, yeah, like, just, just play Realms Studios. That's what I was yeah, saying. Netherrealms, like, like, like they, that'd be dope. Yeah, but they need to be secret, well, so they they can just yeah, have on it. Yeah, they do powers pretty well, so yeah. But yeah, that would be dope. Anyway, anyway, unfortunately, uh, we're gonna have to end it. Uh, so that was our show for today. Thank you everybody for coming out and hanging out with us and being nerdy with us. Remember to go and like and subscribe, comment, share. You know all the good good stuff. Uh, wow. We're uh, we'll see y'all again next Saturday. Uh, happy hopefully. fourth. Yeah. Happy fourth. Happy fourth. Happy fourth. Barbecue. Happy Stay indoors. Yeah. Lots of barbecue. Eat lots of barbecue. Stay indoors because we're nerds and we play games and watch movies and stuff. So stay indoors. Mm. Put your mask. Play. If you stay indoors, watch. you don't have to wear a mask. I mean, it's already yeah. over. What What are you talking about? Like, they've already done that. Do more of it. Nice. Play more. Watch more. I mean, if you're going out, if you're going to see, if you're going out to see the fireworks tonight, um, uh, be safe. Which I don't think you're going to be able to go see the fireworks because a lot of people have canceled those. Like, yeah, they're canceled. Or you can play a game fireworks. about fireworks yeah. on your yeah, computer, they're, they're like real nerds do. But anyway, uh, y'all, y'all have fun. I'm gonna get these, get them back into this, and we're. Oh yeah. Uh, you know what? No, I, I have no points. That hey. is cool. No, hey, we're talking about this. I'm ready. We're going to talk about this. Anyway, let's go. Like yeah. I said, have, have, y'all have. Uh, I don't, have I don't, I don't, I don't, I'll have it. We'll uh, see you next Saturday. And I'm about to. I'm,
uh, whoop Ray's tail in this. I'm got, uh, I got a bat. I got no, a Superman, cool. Batman type character. Bye, bye. Mix. Mix. I'm ready. Let's let's do this. <laughs> Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me.